My next guest originated the role of Eliza in Hamilton. She now stars in Amelie on Broadway. Please welcome Philippa Sue. <laughs> Congratulations on Amelie. Thank you. Starting on Broadway. Thank uh, you. But so many congratulations in order for someone of your tender years. You're 26 years old. Yes. You graduated uh, from Juilliard in 2012. That's right. With one and of that, these guys. With the, the Banda. Right, with the Banda. Hey. There you go. And, nice. and I also just to with John for a little bit. Yeah. Well. Yeah. yeah. Lovely fellas. Oh, Lovely yeah. fellas. They're great. That same year, you, uh, you were off-Broadway in Natasha Pierre in The Great Comet of 1812. Lin-Manuel Miranda saw you there. Uh, he cast you in the original off-Broadway cast of Hamilton, and then, of course, the Broadway cast, nominated for a Tony, and now you're starring in Amelie on Broadway. Have you, did you, are, do you, are you sorry you missed all the suffering years that no <laughs> young actresses normally have? Because at 26, I was still putting a lot of fresh cracked pepper on people's salads. You know... <laughs> I, I have yet to have worked a restaurant job, but um, oh, you're I, wonderful. I know. <laughs> but yeah. I, um, I did spend a lot of time, you know, like drinking beers on my fire escape, just mm -hmm. like kind of like wondering, like when is it? When is something gonna happen? Mm -hmm. And it happened a lot sooner than I thought it mm -hmm. would. Wednesday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it's certainly been a wild ride and quite awesome. Well, congratulations on on Hamilton first of all, an Thank extraordinary you. musical. <laughs> Unbelievable. You know, uh, it, it, I think it's, it's, it probably changed people's expectation of like the cultural relevance of, of a Broadway show or what's in there. Do you, do you think it's changed people's expectations of how hip the Broadway show needs to be? Oh, yeah. I mean, I feel like it was, it was so great on so many levels. And, mm -hmm. and, you know, there was kind of like a saying floating around the theater, which was like, it's a train and you can kind of jump on at any point, whether you're a lover of musical theater or a lover of theater or a lover of hip hop or a lover of history. There was like a way to jump on the train. And um, I think what was most surprising was that there were so many kids who just fell in love with this score and with Lynn's music and this story. Um, and that was super inspiring. Now, in 1985, if you had done uh, this musical, uh, you'd have to explain to people in Maine <laughs> what you're about to do before you did the musical. Can, yeah. you, can you explain? I got this photo shortly before the show. Can you explain to me what is happening in here? Is this an early production um. off, off, off Broadway? <laughs> That you're part of? What's yes, happening? Yes, that's here? off, 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 off Broadway mm -hmm. in Illinois. How old are you in this photo here? I think I must be about three or four, mm -hmm. maybe three, probably three. And what have you cast yourself in here? It looks like um, the magical headband dinosaur extravaganza, from what I can see. <laughs> Um, is that how you started, just singing around the house? Yes, I did. I would, I would, you know, put on shows for my family and for anybody who was around. We actually, so that that house was the house that we moved into, and we were having a lot of work done. Mm -hmm. And when um, we were painting the house, the painters were there for a long period of time, and I decided one day to just put on my tutu and jump on the coffee table and sing Aretha Franklin songs for the painters <laughs> who were wow. painting the house. Wow. Wow. Like what songs? What songs? What, well, what was your, your go-to Aretha? Definitely think because at, being from Chicago, we loved the movie The sure, Blues, Brothers. Blues Brothers. Obviously, loved the it. Diner scene, yeah. And I loved that scene. Um, but did you? How? If you're this age, do you know like well, what it? I didn't know means? the words. You I didn't know the words. No, no. I was how do you singing, sing a song without knowing the words? You know, you you have your, like your markers. You have like you know the sort of beginning and the yeah. end. So you'd be like, think, think about what you're trying to do to me. People go around every day and come down to the fours. I need something to lose my mind where the camp is back in York. Yeah, thing. <laughs> like. Yes. <laughs> you just knew that the word thing had thing. to be in just there somewhere. Just throw it in there as many times and, yeah, as you can. Yeah, and then, then it was fine. You're like, I'm performing this song to the fullest of my abilities. Uh, in Hamilton, uh, I've talked to some of the other cast members about the people who would come to the show, because everybody wanted to see the show. Were there particular people who came backstage, sort of other famous performers who came to see you? They were like, I can't believe I got to meet this person. Well, there were a lot of great people, and I, I have to say the most, like, geeked out moment that I had was with Julie Andrews. 
Oh, yeah. Story. Yeah, see, you all just sit, yeah. like, yeah, like, That's she's That's the just sound like, you make when she walks into exactly. a room. Exactly, and it's like, but for me, I, you know, so Lynn would do this thing, because I didn't really like to know who was there when we were performing. I liked to know after the show was done, you know, pressure taken off. And so Lynn was, he would bow right next to me, and as we, we would exit the stage together, he would, like, say, you know, Stephen Colbert is here, and then, and then he would run away from me. So that, so that evening, he said, Julie Andrews is here, and I went, Really? She's really here? And he's like, yeah. And then I would walk down underneath the stage to get up to my dressing room and I was like singing, spoonful of sugar. I was like so excited to meet her. And then like when I finally got down to the stage to meet her, I just like, I couldn't stop smiling. My cheeks were hurting. I was smiling so much, but I didn't want to stop smiling. Sure, well because... you can't around her. Right, exactly. It's but... everything you expect Julie Andrews to be. Yes, and she's more. so poised yes. and beautiful and like a gift to us all in terms of an artist, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, the new play at the, the Walter Kerr is Amelie, uh, based on uh, the great movie. Um, you've called this like a love letter to theater, the way that movie was a love letter to films. Yes. Um, what is it you love most about theater yourself? I love the community aspect. I think what's so great about it is, you know, not only my collaborations that I get to have in the room creating the thing, but also the collaboration that I get to have with the community that I'm sharing it with and um, the audience you the, mean. yeah the audience yeah. and that it's a communal experience like we're we're all there coming from different backgrounds having this one experience and i think that's the power of theater that it can bring people together truly no i agree as i told the audience uh, every time i pour the show i like doing the show for yeah. the audience but i really love doing the show with the audience because yes. we're doing it together yeah we need to lovely to meet you lovely to meet you here thank you amelie as at the walter Kerr.